All right, so it's time for us to start um, sewing the illusion. So you can see I ran a, a basting stitch to hold my two fabric and my illusion mesh, okay? So now I'm going to sew this illusion. This is how the illusion is going to be. I'll be turning it this way to sew. But then for you to sew very easily, you need to cut open the center front line by the neckline. Can you see? So once I've cut and separated it, I'm going to sew right now. So this is it. Remember the upper part is the part I pinned with my the with the yellow pin. So now I'm going to place it not anyhow. I'm going to make sure I have the tool 0.5 inch below as you can see. Then I'm going to move it this way and secure with my pin. So I'll secure with my pin right away. In a way I can sew on top of my pin. So I'll be, I'll match it up like you sew your bust here. I'll keep matching it up. I'll keep matching it up. Okay, so that is what we have. So I've held it here, okay? So I can now take off my pin for ease of sewing, okay? So this is where I'm going to start my sewing now. I'm st starting from the beginning and I'm sewing at 0 0.5 inch. So I'll drop my press foot at 0 0.5 and I'll start to sew. But from the tip, remember we did not add any seam allowance. We just pleated right here. So I'll start from the tip and sew into the 0 0.5. So I'm going to backstitch now and take off my pin for ease of sewing. So I'll match up just like you sew your bust here and I'm taking my measurement to be sure I have this sewn at 0 0.5. Can you see? So I'm sewing at 0 0.5. As I'm sewing, I'm matching up. I believe you are seeing what I'm doing right here. Okay, so as I'm sewing, I'm matching up and I will stop at 0 0.5 and back stitch. So once I'm done on that part, this is how what it looks like. So I can now take off my pin. So this is what it looks like on the right side. Can you see? So I'll flip this part this way. Okay, and make a notch right here to enable me sew in that or that part. So I'll just make a notch to the point I stitch for ease of sewing. Then I'm going to flip to this other direction. Can you see that? So I'm flipping to this other direction and I'm going to arrange it also. Okay, so I'll use my pin and hold it down first then and sew. Alright, so I'm done pinning right now. Okay, I just pinned like, uh, at this point so I can continue where I stopped my stitches. This is my stitches where I stopped. So I raised the 0 0.5 in, inwards, okay? The mesh has to be inwards as you can see. So I'm going to sew from where I stopped. So I'll turn it this other way and drop it exactly because I'm seeing my seam line where I dropped, I stopped. So... I will take off my pins because I need to match this accordingly, okay? So make sure you match it appropriately. So I've done that and I'm sewing now. So I'm going to backstitch first. So I keep sewing right now from that point I backstitch at 0 0.5. So make sure you sew at 0 0.5. That is the only way you can get the shape of this appropriately. Okay. So as, as I'm sewing, remember we cut off here without seam allowance. Okay. So I'm going to sew very little, just a little of it, not so I don't affect my center front line. Okay, so I keep adjusting and I sew off. As you can see, 
okay so i stitched to nothing point this is what i have can you see that i've stitched the illusion right now as you can see that is the back and this is what we have for the illusion for the front so the next thing i'm going to do now is to place my lining on top okay so i'm going to sew my lining right now so i have my lining and it's supposed to be like this okay so since i have my lining and it's supposed to be all right so once i've cut it right now okay i've separated the both of them right now so i'm going to turn in this way okay then and i'll start to match up from the beginning so i'll use my pin now to match up because the lining has to also match up with the neckline we have at the front uh, at this um, center front of the fabric so i'll secure it with my pin you can see me aligning it so i keep pinning like this because i'm going to follow the already existing stitch to sew in my lining so you need to secure with your pins okay so i'm securing with my pin in a way i can i can sew on top of my pins you can actually sew on top of your pins so if you pin in this direction you can sew on top of your pins all right so i'll make sure i don't have any parts that is stretchy uh, that is folding or squeezing so i'll turn over to this side to sew now press our foot now after 0 0.5 inch so i drop it after zero by this start from the beginning so this is it and i'm checking my uh, my pins okay so as i'm sewing i'll be checking my illusion so i, I don't step on top of it that's my tool so i'm sewing right on top of my pins checking my tool making sure i don't sew on top of it so this part i did not pin it so i'll be able to navigate so i'll just use my hand and align it just like you sew your bustier and align can you see that so I keep spreading this part. So this part can actually be technical, but you can do it if you follow video instructions. So I'm putting my hand to stretch it out. As you can see, making sure it matches. So I'm making sure they match at same point and, and same seam line. So once I get to this point, I will backstitch and take off my pressed foot. So I'll be able to sew this other part just like we did when we were stitching it to the fabric so this is what i have on the part i stitched okay so this is the part i stitched as you can see so if you turn it to the lining you have a perfect inseam finishing and you turn it to the front the front is neat as well okay so now i'll be sewing this other part right now and to do that, I have to also align, uh, place it this way. So that is how to sew your illusion and start matching up from the beginning once again. Okay. So this time around, I will make sure I align. Can you see? Very important. The, the necklines align appropriately. Then you can pin as well. So I'm going to pin in a way I can sew on top of my pins. Can you see that? So this part can really be very technical, but you can do it if you follow the video. So I'll just pin to the end and sew 
following the already existing stitches. And so I'm done pinning the other side right now. So you can see I made sure the boats aligns it at each or each other. Okay. So and I've pinned the lining as you can see. So you can see everything is matching up accordingly. Can you see that? So once you cut accurately and uh, sew accurately, everything matches up for you. So this is it. And I'm going to drop, turn this other way. I'll drop my press foot following the already existing stitches. So I see my stitches which I stitched before and I'm going to sew on top. So as I'm sewing, I'm making sure lining matches up accordingly and I'll backstitch first at that point and I'll be lifting to check my tool. Very important, you lift and check your tool so you don't uh, step on top of it. So make sure you follow the stitches accordingly. Can you see that? You follow the stitches, very important. So you don't add or take away from your seam allowance. So I'm releasing the pin because that part looks tensed. So I'll just sew in as I check on my tool. Okay, so I just release the pins. So I keep sewing and matching up okay so you can see how I'm matching up so you have to be very careful at this point so I just follow the stitches and I'll back stitch but I'm not supposed to sew to the beginning please okay I'm supposed to stop half an inch away so we'll be able to turn uh, the neckline with it okay all right so this is how to sew your illusion so if you now if i turn it this way you see what i got right here so i'm going to give it a good press so you can see the illusion is laying flat and nice lining and fabric as you can see so by the time i iron out this it relaxes for me okay so i'm going to notch okay so your notching will help to release the tension on the curve so i'm going to place my notches very very carefully this is just like sewing a bustier okay you know when you sew your bustier you also place notches so i've placed my notches right there i'll also place my notches to ease the tension okay so when placing your notches be careful you don't cut off your seam allowances can you see that so I'm done placing my notches so another thing I love to do is to top stitch so top stitching will help it help you lay help it lay a uh, flat so this is the lining and this is uh, the seam when top stitching i lay all my seams on the lining this way you can see that so i'm going to lay on the lining this way and spread out and sew very closely so i also check what i have to be sure i'm not stepping on anything okay so I'll start from 0 0.5. Remember we left 0 0.5 to turn around the other part of the neckline. So I'll just top stitch after 0 0.5 because I'm losing. So I'll just sew very neatly, very closely. So I'll back stitch. So all my seams, I'm checking them to be sure I have them on the part of the lining. So that will help you lay the illusion very appropriately. So I'll keep laying and adjusting. Okay. So once you get to the center front below, I'll lift up my press foot and turn around. Okay. Push everything I have right here and spread out my lining to continue my top stitching. 
So I drop my presser foot again and face in this other direction to top stitch while I still check what I have to be sure I'm not stepping on anything. So I'm top stitching very closely, very, very closely. As you can see, very, very closely. So I will stop where I have my 0 0.5 inch and I'll back stitch at that point. So with the top stitching right now, I have my illusion going to lay flatter and nice. You can see that it's actually laying flatter and nice and the front also is laying flat and nice. So I'm going to give it a good press right now.